Hi, I'm Andy Harrison. I'm the instructor for Radar Signal Analysis and Processing using MATLAB. The book is given here. It is written by Basil Mahafsa and will be used in the course. This course is designed to use signal processing techniques to analyze radar waveforms and signals. Various radar waveforms will be analyzed in both time and frequency domains to study their range and Doppler resolutions, as well as their range and Doppler ambiguity. Methods will then be studied as to how to overcome these ambiguities. MATLAB is used extensively throughout the course. Each student will be given a copy of the MATLAB code to modify and customize to fit their particular needs. In this case, we will be analyzing the pulse train with linear frequency modulation. The signal was given in the previous section, except that LFM modulation has been added to each pulse. The Pulse width will be denoted by tau zero, the radar PRI denoted, denoted by T, the number of pulses in the train is N, therefore the train's length is N minus one times T seconds. Next. A normalized individual pulse in this train is defined by X sub one of T. It is normalized by the pulse width tau zero. It is limited by the rectangular function from minus tau zero over two to tau zero over two. And the quadratic phase term is added to provide the linear frequency modulation. The linear fre frequency modulated pulse train is then given as the summation of n individual pulses. We will utilize property five of the ambiguity function to yield the following output for the match filter. Next. Chi sub 1 is the ambiguity function for the single pulse. You will note that the shape of the ambiguity function is unchanged from the case of the unmodulated train along the time delay axis. This corresponds to the range axis. This is expected since only phase modulation has been added to this pulse and this will <coughs> affect the shape along the frequency axis. Next. As a MATLAB example, we will create the 3D and contour plots of the linear frequency modulated pulse train ambiguity function. We will also create cuts along the zero Doppler and zero time delay axis. Here is the MATLAB code that is provided for the linear frequency modulated pulse train. You can see that the parameters are set, the pulse width tau zero, the PRI in seconds, the bandwidth in hertz, and the number of pulses in this case will be n equals three. These parameters can be changed to meet the student's own requirements. And this piece of MATLAB code uses the function LFM train ambiguity, which is also given in the library's directory. When we execute this code, a contour plot of the ambiguity function is shown. This plot gives an indication of both the range and Doppler resolutions of this waveform, as well as the range and Doppler ambiguities of this waveform. Each location where we see a peak in this plot is an ambiguity for this waveform. These ambiguities can be overcome with PRF staggering, which we will cover in later sections.